What is your name? Andrei. How long have you been here? How did you get here? It's been already a month since I've been here, brought from Kharkiv. In Kharkiv I spent three months in the hospital and the months in the pre-trial detention center. What is your injury? What's wrong with you? Shrapnel wound to the spine. Do you get help here? Are you alright? Yes, Ukrainians do dressings, injections, painkillers for me. Where are you from? From Russia, Kurgan region. How did you get to the territory of Ukraine? I've been mobilized, got a summons, signed a contract, went here. Where are you from? How did you get here? They brought me by force, so to speak. I am allegedly a volunteer. I went to the military enlistment office on October 18th, then the drills, and after the drills we were immediately thrown to the front line. For three days I stood in the defensive. We watched in a house in the Donetsk region near the town of Piske, the village of Pervomaisk. We were there, we sat in the house for three days, and then our command ordered us to storm the street, storm two houses so that we would occupy them, and we got into trouble. I am from Donetsk region. The femoral neck is broken. How were you treated? Dressings. I have wounds here. Everything is the maximum possible for me at the moment. Dressing. Peace, so to speak. I'm fed here. Everything I need. What is your name? Sergei. Where are you from? How did you get here? I come from the Saratov region, the city of Balakava. I am a regular soldier. On February the 24th last year I got into the special operation. How long have you been here? Our brigade got into a special operation on February the 26th. Everything ended for me and on the 1st of March I was captured. You have an opportunity to work here. Could you tell us about it? We have everyone who is in the camp, everyone works. Someone is engaged in assembling packages, assembling sofas, welders are as well. Everyone is busy with work, no one is left without work. Are you getting paid for this? Yes, we are paid for the work performed. What can you buy? The work is paid for, and when payment comes the order is completed. After that we can buy cigarettes in the store. Well, who needs what? If someone smokes, he can buy cigarettes, sweets, personal hygiene products, razors. What do you want now? Well, you know, at the moment, so that all this stops already, because it lasts a whole year, so that peace comes to every house in Russia, in Ukraine. When you return to Russia, what do you plan to do? Back in that year, even before the start of the special operation, how they call this war in Russia, I had to leave to civilian life. Well, I'll be back. I'll get my job in a profession. I graduated from college with a degree in electrical engineering. Do you want to return to the war? I think you have to be crazy to want it. Tell us how you got here. Where are you from? I am from Russia, city of Murmansk. Arrived here last July. Tell me about the conditions here. How was your day? Well, at the beginning I woke up, ate, worked, then I cleaned myself up after work and went to sleep, following the daily routine. How are you treated here? Fine, I am a prisoner of war. I have an attitude to me that is established here according to the rules. Everything is as it should be. The menu is different. There is pasta, there is potatoes, porridge soups. There is a store for goods, you can buy coffee, cookies, sweets or cigarettes. When we will return home, this is the only thing we want. We all want. Everyone who is here. When you return, what do you plan to do? I am an officer, so the only thing I have is contract service in the Russian army again. I have no other way.